So here is the Wolverine mech build, and I'm not gonna lie, I think this is probably what I think this is might actually be the best. You know, I know a lot of people aren't big fans of these $15 Lego Marvel mechs, but I gotta say, this is probably the best one we've ever gotten. I absolutely love the detail that they brought to this one. I love the claws, like the massive claws they got. It's like, even though it is a little bit oversized, I still think it looks really, really good. And yeah, this I think, again, this is probably the one, the, the best Marvel mech they've ever, or best, like, small Marvel mech they've ever released. It kind of sucks now how we're getting Star Wars mechs. And my guess is they're probably replacing micro fighters. So that's kind of sad because I do actually quite like micro fighters. I don't collect micro fighters, but they're still pretty nice. I've only got one, and it's the clone turbo tank one. But yeah, this is still just such a nice set. And it's, yeah, you can put it in positions. So you could. Is I like I usually display mine. Whoops. I usually display mine something like this. I usually display mine something like this. And then I, then I am, and then the last thing, really just the last play feature you can do is open up this little hatch and then stick your Wolverine figure inside. It doesn't have to be Wolverine though, you can stick any figure. So that's that's how I like to display mine. I can give you. This is yeah. This is how mine looks like on display, and I think this is probably the best way to display it. And I've got a few other. I've got a few of the other Marvel mechs. Like I got the Black Panther one. I got the older Iron Man one, and then I do have the Spider Man one. But I just ended. But I put. But I put in the box because recently I've put in a bunch of my Spider-Man sets in a box because Spider-Man sets are just kind of shit. <laughs> so yeah, I th this is a really nice set. And so now I'm going to do my final thoughts here. I think even though now this set's retired, if it's only if it's still going for like $15 or something on Bricklink where you can still find it in a store, I would probably just say, you know what, you know what I, I have $15 on me. Why not just get this? It's a really nice set too. I think it's a, really, a nice display piece, but they're $15 Mar Marvel mix. What do you expect? They're still kind of crap, even though I do think this is the best one they've ever released. So, because I think most of the other ones are kind of shit. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you with another review video soon.